Rowdy Robinson, if there was a Mount Rushmore of bodybuilding, would be on that Mount Rushmore. Lee Haney called him the greatest physique ever. Lee Haney won eight Mr. Olympians. This man is incredible. All the titles. Mr. Universe, Mr. America, Mr. This, Mr. That. He's got more Mr. than anybody you can imagine from 1975 to 2000. But what I love about him is his wisdom. Building the muscle right here. His dedication to taking care of his body and his work to serve and help others. Work, 15 of them. Work, 15 of them. Work, 16. Put it out, 17. Put it out, 18. Stronger than me, 19. You got the show coming up, 40. Boom. <laughs> As a kid, I always looked up to Robbie. I looked up at all the classic golden era bodybuilders. And Robbie stood out the most to me as having the most artistic expression of bodybuilding. Is truly believing that his body was a work of art. He was a canvas, his weights were his paintbrushes, and that inspired me to kind of take bodybuilding a step further and think about it differently. Think about it as an artist. I thought that was always fantastic. I love working with people, seeing people can get better, improve themselves. Um, I think we should all do that, really. Should be paramount. Everyone should do that to a degree. Double bicep from the rear. Squeeze, spread those lats, spread those lats. One of them, two of them, three. The more you put your thumb inside of this, you turn your wrist back over the bicep. The bigger the bicep, when you gotta work, go back to the toe, take it serious. Guy from the greatest poster of all time. Oh, yeah. Of all time, the greatest. This man has never had a McDonald's French fry. Never. I don't eat like that. You see a lot of guys that kind of hit it hard, burn out, and then either have injuries or health risks. I've never had an injury. So it's cool to see someone who lives the lifestyle, who's been doing it for, you know, 40, 50 years, and is still doing it. Um, at an impressive level, so I think that's really inspirational. Having him out here has really been a blessing for our whole team. We have a lot of physique athletes on the team, and this just helps us with that extra edge. Robbie has worked with the best. He's seen the best, and he knows what those people are doing to take things to the next level. He's also consciously thinking about the stretch and the squeeze. So as he comes down, he's posing his muscles as he comes down. Squeeze the death one. Yeah, now nah, get it up there. Yeah. Hold it there for a second or two. Yeah. Contract it all those muscles. This is the one that count. The rest of it did not. A lot of people say, oh, well, you trained with him again. Mm -hmm. Well, didn't you learn everything the first time? I said, every time I train with him, there's something new, there's something else. And you know what I always say to a lot of people I train is that this man right here is forgotten more than I know about bodybuilding. <laughs> so anytime I'm with this guy, I'm learning, learning our team's something. learning. I love it, it's great. And I just can't appreciate it enough. I mean, it's just amazing. Yeah, we're looking forward to it next year. First on my list, I gotta thank Ford's gym. Thank you for providing such an awesome old school environment. All the barbells, dumbbells, free weights, all the stuff you need, all the stuff to work hard, and all the stuff that the golden era bodybuilders use to sculpt their amazing physiques. Thank you Ford's Gym for allowing us to have this special moment at your special facility, thank you. Second on the list, I gotta thank Big Mike with In The Deed Find Glory. Mike, without your diligent planning and everything you've put into this, this would not be possible. You truly help people find glory and greatness in what they do. Thank you so much, Mike. Last on the list, the man, the myth, the legend, Robbie Robinson. Not only did you go out of your way to show us new moves to help us build our bodies, but you also showed us the power of mind. You showed us how and taught us how at any moment of your life, whether old, whether young, whether you've hit a plateau, that you can still build, that you can still grow. Thank you, Robbie, for coming out. Thank you for sharing all of your wisdom with us. Thank you, Team Machino. Without you, this wouldn't happen, so thank you for being here. Thank you, Danny Blair, for the camera work, for all the behind-the-scenes stuff. I think you guys are gonna enjoy this. Thank you.